Mark Appel. A lot of you guys probably remember him as the guy that was drafted before Chris Bryant. The guy that was drafted first overall in the 2013 draft. The guy that received a $6.5 million signing bonus just to sign with the Astros after the draft. The guy that a few years later would be released by the Phillies without throwing a single major league pitch. This is the Mark Appel story. Vista High School, Danville, California. Mark Appel is a relief pitcher because the other pitchers on his team were better than he was. Appel worked as hard as he could and became the best closer in the district and ended up throwing a no-hitter in one of his few starts. This caught the attention of the Detroit Tigers. The Tigers selected Appel in the 15th round with the 450th overall selection of the 2009 MLB Draft. Appel didn't sign as he was committed to Stanford University who he received a full scholarship to play baseball for. During his freshman year, Appel was a relief pitcher. He did receive a few spot starts here and there, but he became a full-time starter during his sophomore season. During his sophomore year, in 16 starts, Appel posted a 6-6 record with a 3.02 ERA. Appel's collegiate career would only take off from here. In his junior year, he would post a 2.56 ERA and was named National Pitcher of the Year. March success caught the attention of scouts everywhere, and Appel entered the draft in the 2012 season. Appel was projected to be around the first overall pick, but there was controversy surrounding him. Appel threatened the Astros that he would not sign with the Astros, who pitched first that year, if he only received a $6 million signing bonus. 2012 MLB Draft The Astros have the first pick, and fearing that Appel wouldn't sign with them, the Astros take future All-Star Carlos Correa. The Twins pit next, and they took Byron Buxton. After the Twins was the Mariners, then the Orioles, then the Royals, followed by the Cubs and the Padres. Appel wasn't drafted yet. The Pirates, who were surprised by this, took Appel with the 8th overall pick. The Pirates offered Appel a $3.8 million signing bonus. Appel thought, nah, and he returned to Stanford to finish his senior year. Appel went 10-4 with a 2.12 ERA his senior year at Stanford, and he was projected to be the first pick again. The first pick was the Houston Astros again. The Astros selected Appel with the first overall pick in the 2013 Major League Draft, and he signed with a $6.35 million signing bonus. Appel was then sent to play for the Quad Cities River Bandits, where he would join Carlos Correa. Appel only started 10 games that year, but he went 3-1 with a 3.79 ERA and had 33 strikeouts. Appel looked promising, but by now it wasn't clear he would be the same player he was from Stanford. Appel would continue to struggle throughout the minor leagues. In Class A, Appel had a 2-5 record with a 9.74 ERA and 12 starts before he was promoted to Double A. The Astros assumed there was something wrong with Appel's situation, so they figured a change of scenery was needed. But after a stat line like that in Class A, you can tell it wasn't just the situation, it was his ability. But Appel bounced back. After having a decent finish in Double A Corpus Christi, Appel did extraordinarily well in the Arizona Fall League. Appel had a 2.61 ERA and 24 strikeouts while limiting opponents to a 1.67 batting average against. The following year, Appel was chosen to represent the Astros at the 2015 All-Star Futures game. Shortly after Appel was promoted to the Fresno Grizzlies, the Astros AAA affiliate. He finished the 2015 season with a 4.48 ERA in 12 starts for the Grizzlies. Following the Astros collapse during the division series in 2015 against the Royals, the Astros were in desperate need of bullpen help and on December 12, 2015, they got it. The Astros traded Mark Appel along with three other players to the Phillies for Ken Giles and another prospect. The Astros realized Appel wasn't going to be the player they expected him to be. They realized that who was supposed to be a part of the World Series plan wasn't anymore. During 2016, Appel did nothing. He was placed on the disabled list, and then he underwent season-ending surgery to remove a bone spur from his elbow. Appel began the 2017 season with the Phillies AAA affiliate. During the season, Appel had a 5-4 record and a 5.14 ERA in 17 games started. Mark Appel was then designated for assignment following the 2017 season. The Phillies realized it was time to move on from Appel, and Mark Appel realized it was time to move on from baseball. Two days ago, Mark Appel announced that he is retiring from baseball at the age of 26 to pursue a business career. Nobody knows how a prospect so highly touted could go his entire career without throwing one major league pitch. But on November 1st, 2017, Appel wasn't on the field. He wasn't with the team he was meant to be a part of. 
Instead, he was watching the team, what would have been his team, win it all. Let's